Welcome back here one final time to Bulldog Stadium. Concordia gets a win 61-21 over Briarcliff. And joining us now up here in the booth is Bulldog head coach Patrick Daberko. Coach, it was a hot one out there today. We're sweating up here. I can't imagine uh, what the players were like down there and you on the field. But uh, you got a lot of guys involved today. The backup quarterback did a great job. Defense did their job. I'm sure some things to clean up, but what would you make yeah. of the performance today? Well, you know, I, I, I liked how we played in the fourth quarter. Um, I think we have some things to clean up, especially on special teams. Um, just some, some errors. Anytime you, you you win a game like this and uh, there's 21 points scored on you or how many they had, uh, and two of them are not when the defense is on the field, I mean, you got some stuff to work on and there's just some things that we need to cover. So, uh, you know, I thought, I thought our guys had – we, we talked about facing adversity, and we faced some adversity in the third quarter there coming out. I was proud of how they responded, and um, I, I was pleased with the effort. There were two normal starters injured today, Jonah Wyand and Peyton Mitchell. They were out, and in for Jonah Wyand was Devin Ziegler. He went on the ground today, almost 26 carries, had a touchdown as well. Uh, it, you also had uh, uh, Clay out there uh, as the other running back, and then uh, Nisley came in and had an incredible catch and an incredible yeah. interception right before halftime. So, uh, yeah, some injuries, but, but the next man up was certainly uh, there for you guys today. Yeah, we have, we absolutely had some guys step up. I was proud of how that happened. Um, we've had guys step up all, all season for us. You know, we've had to move guys around, and I'm overall I'm just impressed with our team's uh, resilience this week and uh, and with our attitude about you know kind of a next man up mentality and. Um, you know, anytime you, you coach a team sport and there's playing time decisions to be made, you know, there, there's a conflict that can, that can be, uh, that can happen. And, you know, it, to, to be able to work through that and, and be able to uh, come out on top and have a lot of guys contribute is a lot of fun. Ross, you got anything here for Coach? I, I was going to ask what, what's coming up this week in practice. What, what's the focus now? You've got Dort uh, coming up a road game. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Sioux Center, we, we're, I think we played there like, seven times in the last eight years or something like that. So uh, we're used to that road trip, um, but they're always a very formidable opponent. I, I know they, I think they put up over 60 today and they're, they're a good offense and their defense is actually really good too. But, you know, we're going to enjoy the win for, for uh, a few hours here and then we'll get to grading film and yep. uh, watching our next opponent. But uh, really proud of the guys' effort today. And uh, we got some things to fix but um, and, and to clean up, but sometimes – uh, that gives you even a little bit more hope because because we can play better than we did today. There you go. Concordia football coach Patrick Daberko. Coach, appreciate it. Home opening win uh, for the Bulldogs. Now one and one on the season. Take on Dort at 1 p.m. next Saturday. Coach, have a good rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Thanks, All guys. Right.